Hey everybody, a happy Wednesday night to you. My name's Nate Albaugh, assistant football coach at Unity <laughs> High School. I have a title. Watch out, watch out. Uh, Al Craig, head football coach, Oakwood High School, Oakwood, Illinois. Yes, and oh, mine is not in Unity, Illinois. It is in a little <laughs> tiny town called Tolono, which is pretty much, it's like, Almost attached to Champagne. Yeah. Okay. Much. Technically, At this it goes point. Champagne Savoy. They're yeah. really are attached. Yeah. And then Tolono's basically attached to Savoy. There's probably like a one mile stretch of road that yeah. separates them. Yeah. Um, but but that's where I am. Yep. Coaching football. That's baby. exciting, man. Oh, it's exciting. very exciting. Uh, they are uh, Hall of Fame head coach. Would yeah. you agree? He's going to be a Hall of oh, Famer. No, no doubt about it. He's yeah. a Hall of Famer. So I'm excited to learn from him yeah. and. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so what is your official title? Uh, that's uh, a very good question. Yeah. Um, that I'm not sure I have a title. <laughs> My, I, I was saying the other night on on our last Wednesday night show that um, I'm more like an assistant to the assistants. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like I, I don't even have, they have, I'm kind of helping the safeties that's and good. it looks like I would eventually, I could eventually be the safeties like coach. Take it over. Okay. Possibly. Yeah. Because their safeties run things a little different than corners. Okay. But I don't think I have that title yet. Okay. But it's looking like that. Yeah. And then I help on offense with some of the receiver stuff. All right. Um, it is, it's different. Yeah, I yeah. bet. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. And I said it in my last film Friday. I okay. said, um, and, and I told you when you came here, yeah. like saying that I'm going to go learn some humility is different than living learning humility definitely and i went through a real low low and the thought that got me back was you know what i guess this is what living humility is right. it's living through a really 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 crappy feeling mm -hmm. right i don't think you can learn humility by just going i'm gonna learn it and you still get to feel jolly yeah. and happy and <laughs> right i'm like i learned it yeah i got it it's like okay this is humility yeah, like yeah. really really rotten feelings right and i went through a practice and a post practice where i was i was just like like, who am I? Am I worth anything? But I snapped out of it. That's good. And I was That's telling good. Al, one of the things that snapped me out of it was, you know, a lot of my best friends in the world right now are guys that coached with me at Central. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all these guys that were some of my best friends, they did it. They were able to do this, this job of humility, being an assistant to someone else. And they did it for a long time. They did it really well. So credit to you, no, Coach you. T, all those guys. And I'm like, like that is encouraging me through this. So. Yeah. Um, another thing, obviously, that helps is knowing for a fact that I am in a staff of a whole group of guys that are really good at what they're doing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So that helps. So it's like, yeah, it's different than how I've done it, yeah. but that's what I need to learn right now. Yeah. I need to learn different. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fun. I mean, and I, and I and I appreciate you giving us you know a shout out for being assistants, but you're also coming from a whole different world in the sense that I had never been a head coach when I was an assistant, and you're kind of coming to that world from a head coach back to an assistant so it's kind of i i can't imagine doing that now i'm sure at some <laughs> point in time in my life i'll probably do it again sure but i i can't imagine that right now i mean so credit to you for for you know giving it a shot and giving hey, it's it a been go. different yeah. it's been hard it's been yeah. good for me but you know what when you look you know i look over at the far side i don't coach them but my boys on the field yeah that's, that's it's awesome. like that was your reminder okay not all of this life is about you and now that you're a family man, you right. see it, right? Absolutely. Like the things Absolutely. we do for our kids. Well, hey, hopefully you've been checking in over to the side and continue to um, share. And, you know, if you've got your own conversation going on over the side while Coach and I talk, hey, <laughs> more power to you, right. man. Keep telling guys about the Wednesday night show. We'd love to just kind of build a community where we come together and talk football for half an hour. Yeah. Um, and would love to see that continue to grow. So thanks for joining us. Uh, today we're going to talk about a tweet that you just tweeted out last yeah, week yeah and i saw your tweet and it just i just thought you know what what a great topic <laughs> and it was a tweet from i'll throw let's throw it up on the screen i always right. like to throw the tweets right over your face okay so it's yeah. right over your face right now yep. and it's al craig <laughs> and he says yes we will still have practice today in the rain something that yeah it's something like that yeah it, it basically said the rain we will practice regardless of the rain <laughs> yes yeah so i was and it, i just laughed out loud yeah because you know it's a Tuesday in September, yeah, and you're playing the biggest game of your life on Friday night, <laughs> and it's raining all day. Yeah, and the kids show up in your classroom. They go, "Will we practice tonight?" Yeah, or you yeah. get an email from mom, "Will there be practice tonight?" Because it's raining. And I just want to say, 
This is the modified version of what yeah. I want to say. <laughs> yes, kids. <laughs> This is not junior high baseball. This baseball, is not yeah. seven-year-old baseball. No, definitely not. We will practice no matter <laughs> what. Well, and I have to say, that, I mean, the funniest part of the whole thing was I, I, I normally get that from freshmen. And that's okay. Like, mm -hmm. totally okay for you to wonder, are we still going to have practice? My problem was yesterday was like seniors texting me, will we still have practice? <laughs> um, were you at practice at all last year? Because it seemed like it rained. Every single day at practice. Right. I mean, we will have practice regardless. So, yeah. It, it's always funny. And those are the little things that come up. You're like, the, these questions, <laughs> will we, yes, we will practice. Yes. I remember my first year as a head coach, it was, will we practice on Labor Day? Yeah. That's and always I'm a like, good one too. And I, and all I could tell the moms, were, it was some moms that cornered me. I said, listen, unless they move Friday night's game. Yeah. We will practice. Yeah, <laughs> we, we have to prepare for this game. Right. It doesn't matter what's going. We have to prepare. Well, there's well, there's no other option. Well, I always do my so when I set my calendar for I like when I give them the summer calendar, I just give them the calendar for the entire year, so it maps out all the way from June till November, right? Well, last year I handed out, and of course, you know, you shoot big, so you plan your calendar all the way through the state championship game, you know? So you mm -hmm. even plan playoff practices mm -hmm. regardless, right? Why well, schedule practice on Thanksgiving? Because if we're in the state championship, you will have it. You better believe we're practicing on Thanksgiving. Yes. And I, I get a call from a parent, and they're like, <laughs> are you really going to practice on Thanksgiving? Like, <laughs> if we make it that far, you bet your ass we will be practicing on <laughs> yes. Thanksgiving. Like, yes. we'll probably have a dinner together. Like, right. let's do it. <laughs> did, so, yeah. did the parent understand by the end of I, it? I think so, yeah. I think, and then some other parents were like telling them that too, like, that's a good thing. Like if yes. we're practicing on Thanksgiving, that's this is that's the greatest thing ever, right? Amen. To that. <laughs> Amen. To that. And you know what? There are coaches that have done that on the regular. Yeah. <laughs> and how much of a dream to be that right. guy? Exactly. That everyone just knows. Exactly. Well, so and so won't be here for Thanksgiving this year. That's what I want. Yeah, right. Eventually, I want people to know that I won't be at Thanksgiving yeah, this yeah. year. I'll I want them be to coaching know. football. Yes, that's <laughs> what I want them to know. You all are going to have to come to my house right? because I'll be coaching football. That's right. what I want. Right, exactly. That's the dream. That's all right. Dream. Well, we're going to talk about what to do in rainy practices. Yeah. And we're not teaching you anything. We're going to just share yeah. ideas. And, and for me, what are we going to do in the rain and the crap? The garbage mm -hmm. it could is a little different in the summer than it is game week absolutely so let's start summer summer for the most part when the weather gets rotten well of course if there's lightning you have to leave the field right so let's talk just rain first okay rain in the summer my first goal is to stay on the field to set that precedent for the season right so that the kids don't go rain oh let's get out of here I, so even though over the summer it's rainy and garbage I don't really want to be there. We don't have to be there. No. I'm really just trying to set the precedent for the season so that everyone knows we can't change for rain. Yeah, right. And you just kind of keep plugging away and it's miserable and it's cold and your practice plan is like falling over your yeah, fingers. It's, it's done. Like it's over in about a minute. But you almost, plan. you have to do, in my <laughs> opinion, you have to do everything you can to stay the course. Yeah. So that that's they know they know what to expect when the season hits. Yeah, and not just that. I think the summer is a good time. Like you can take it slow, and you can practice those things in the rain, which isn't a bad thing because eventually you're gonna hit it at some point. At some point in the season, and in the in the regular season practice when it's rainy, you can't really slow it down and you know take time for those mistakes that happen in the rain. But in the summer, I can slow it down and be like, all right, yeah, the ball's wet, like. Let's, let's take our time. Yes. Let's let's practice with a wet ball. Let's do these things, and we can slow it down a little bit more in the summer. So that's what I liked about it. I mean, we've had practices on Wednesdays the last two weeks, like, and they're just small. But it's rained both days. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had rain mm -hmm. at both practices, so it's. I mean, I guess it's just going to be that year, that kind of year. I don't, I don't <laughs> remember a lot from my college football time, yeah. But I do remember this. My college football coach was adamant, the receiver coach, mm -hmm. saying, "Listen." Rain is not an excuse to slip. Mm -hmm. And I remember when he said it, I, I'm like, what? And he, as he explained, he said, listen, can you see that it's raining? Well, yes, I can see that. Well, then really? you, uh, you know that it's wet and wet means slippery. So slow down. Yeah. Change your route. Uh, pr uh, um, prepare for the cut longer. Because listen, 
it's wet for him too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? So he just, that, that, that was taught to me by him. And so I guess summertime rain is a good chance to talk about, okay, listen, it's wet. So let's talk about this. Right. Can you see that it's raining? Right. right. So you go through the same thing with them. Does it, it, it's not an excuse as a receiver to go catch. Oh, look, oh darn. Well, it's wet. wet. Yeah. Listen, you know, it's wet. Like, can you get your body to it? Yeah. And so all this time you spent saying, don't use your body catching. <laughs> it, do you spend some time over the summer going, it's raining. Let's use our body catching. Because yeah. It, when it's really raining, it is hard to catch with your hands. Right. So, you know, the old Steve Largent style, yeah. leaping up and catching it yeah. in your belly. <laughs> and does that need to be covered? Right. I mean, yeah. And I mean, <laughs> we've kind of, we, I mean, we do it all on on a when the last two Wednesday night practices in the rain. I mean, we've we've done everything. I mean, we've worked our little double handoff play in the mm -hmm. rain because I mean it's gonna happen. Right. We've slowed it down and we've worked on the handoff and the exchange with a wet ball. Um, we've worked all of our passing plays. I mean, like five of them mm -hmm. uh, we've worked them all you know i mean with a wet ball and receivers have to catch it and you know i mean so we've done everything and you know i think that's a good start because now it's like we've had these i, I don't want to call them bad practices because we got stuff done but we've had these two rain practices and now it's only going to go up from here hopefully you know so we set that foundation in the rain yes so now it's kind of like what you said like we're setting that that foundation for the season. So well, and now that we're, let's say we're in season, we get ready. Yeah, obviously mm -hmm. you have to continue. You have yeah, to still prepare for Friday night. <laughs> um, but some you may not, you may not take as many offensive reps. Yeah, maybe you do. You got to get through what you got to get through. You got to mm -hmm. make sure the kids are prepared to be able to play in rain. Mm -hmm. But you don't. Maybe maybe you bring them in into film room and say, all right, we're gonna knock off the last half hour. We'll prepare via film rather than staying on the team, the field and continuing to run plays right. in this garbage. Um, <laughs> but for the most part, I've always you tried to roll. just get through it all. You gotta roll. You just think <laughs> we have to be ready for yeah. this. Yeah. I, I don't want the. I don't want to get into a game that's rained because we've had those. Yeah. And it affects who we are, mm -hmm. what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other thing, I, I found a little rain in the middle of the season picks up the energy a little bit in practice. Like the kids enjoy it a little bit. I hate it, but the kids love it. I mean, I said it's way more fun to be a player right now than it is to be a coach. Mm -hmm. Like coach in the rain, like your socks are wet, your practice plan's a mess, your and you whole feel life the stress is a mess. of getting something yeah, I mean, I mean, it just seems like it, it couldn't be worse yeah. at that moment than that. But then all of a sudden you feel feel this little spark, this little energy from the kids because yeah, it's like this backyard playing in the rain kind mm -hmm. of feeling, and they just kind of have fun with it. And I don't know. I, I, I actually, actually, a few times a year, don't mind a rainy practice. Like I, 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 I like it. I don't necessarily want it every day, but no, every now and then, I like it. I mean, it gets the kids fired now up. Let's really talk bit. lightning. Yeah, that's a whole nother ball game, right? Now, <laughs> lightning hits, you're done. Yeah, because you know. In season, out of season, it's practice. You have to wait mm -hmm. 30 minutes to even take the field again. Mm -hmm. So you, there's an outside chance you could still get back on the field. But listen, <laughs> what are the odds that you saw one lightning strike and there's nothing to follow? There's nothing, yeah. Usually it's going to be lightning, 10 minutes, lightning. Yeah. And you just keep getting pushed. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? What are you doing with lightning, Coach? Can you salvage anything? And what are you doing to salvage it? Well, yes and no. Um <laughs> It honestly depends on a lot of schools' gym space. I mean, if you have a gym that you can sneak into and just do, do like what we call frames or whatever, where we're just going through plays, the mm -hmm. O-linemen can find something to do, just footwork mm -hmm. drills or whatever. And a lot of times, I mean, I remember in high school, those those days in the gym were just like we were in sock feet or bare feet because they obviously weren't going to have us in there with our cleats on. Yeah. And then – you know, a lot of us either didn't have tennis shoes to wear or whatever. So we were in sock feet or no, or no socks or whatever. Um, so, I mean, I think there is stuff you can do with that gym space. Now for us, I mean, volleyball uses the gym space, which is the only gym that we have. So it's like we have a locker room that's kind of spacious. So we'll go in there and we'll watch a little film. It honestly hasn't come up yet, but I'd like to think that if push came to shove, we could go through some plays like walk through some stuff in our locker room because it's a it's a bigger space we could clear it out and have a little mini walk through and stuff like that i don't know mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be my plan if it came to it um, well it's like coach t said last week he said 
there's no template for this job. Right. So it, you can't have like this final answer. Right. Well, I have two thoughts that I wanted to share with uh -huh. everybody. Um, the first thought is this. <clears throat> Take the summertime, the spring, whenever, and come up with a couple rain plans, a couple yeah. lightning plans mm -hmm. saying, and so that you've got them stockpiled. Because when they're stockpiled, they're easy to go to. Right. If they're not stockpiled, these ideas, um, these plans, maybe they might need a little preparation. You get that preparation done in the spring, summer, mm -hmm. but it's ready to go for when the lightning hits because it's always going to hit at a time that's inconvenient. Absolutely. But I do not, I, my first thought is this, don't be afraid for to have, even if it takes 15 minutes, 30 minutes, I find value in things like team skits. Yeah. They sound so cheesy and when are you going to waste the time to do it? You're going to do skits instead of this. No, lightning time is that because I've found value, a lot of value in the laughing together. Mm -hmm. I've said for a while, there's a few things that will build a bond between people. One's laughing together. Yeah. Well, this is a chance to laugh together. So you break, break them into groups. They have to come up with a skit. You give them topics. Maybe that's one of the things you're going to prepare in the spring. You're going to have these five topics, ten topics in a baggie. And they're cut up, right? And mm -hmm. you, when it comes, you got the baggie ready. Go get the baggie for skits. You open it up. They reach in, pull out an idea for a skit. Right. Their group has 15 minutes to come up with a skit. Mm -hmm. It's usually horrible, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. It's funny that it's, it's horrible. Funny. Yeah. <clears throat> Another thing I've done before is like a team chant. Mm -hmm. So things like that, I think are great ideas to have ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, one year we did, and this was a side game. wasn't a lightning game, but it could be done in lightning. It was you had to come up with something that a, a Twitter video that would get the most retweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one was I think it was you getting yeah. hit in the face with a bag of marshmallows. Bags of marshmallows. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I took a I took a bag of marshmallows right <clears throat> in the face. It was awesome. And, and I think that funny. one won. Right? I think right? it did. Yeah, I think so. And they put it into <laughs> slow mo and yeah. everything. But and you got hit pretty hard. It was pretty hard. <laughs> I felt the effects for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, so that was fun. But yeah. how, so my first thought in this topic is have some things ready. Yeah. Right. Don't think about them in the spring and then don't write it down or prepare for it because right. you're not going to remember it in the heat of the moment because mm -hmm. at that moment you're just busy being mad that it's lightning. <laughs> right. And I mean, that's not a controllable thing to be mad yeah. about. So And now that you're mad, you can't. Okay. Yeah. My second thought is this. <clears throat> the movie U571 with Matthew McConaughey. Have you ever seen it? Uh, no. I okay. Don't think I see it. Um, <laughs> it is considered legitimately a very good movie. Okay. High quality movie. It's World okay. War II setting during a submarine. Okay. Well, Matthew McConaughey is surprisingly kind of unexpectedly becomes the captain. Okay. okay? And in his in the first moment, he says at this moment, one of the guys that, what are we going to do, right? They're in war, they're in battle. Mm -hmm. And he says, I don't know, but we're going to figure this out. <laughs> well, later the chief, who's kind of an older, wiser guy, mm -hmm. says, listen, as the captain, don't you ever say the words I don't know. Yeah. And I've always kept that with me as a coach. I remember that moment, and it's not just saying the words, I don't know, but it's, you can't, just be careful, be on guard for when lightning hits, unexpected things happen. Make sure that it's not two things. Number one, don't want to act like you don't know what you're going to do. Right. Because that affects everyone, including your assistants and the kids. And then number two, you can't let it make it, you can't let on that everything's ruined. Right. I guess that's the thought I yeah, want to share. Absolutely. I want you to, to, when the lightning hits and it's clearly garbage, when people see you, they should see this is not garbage. This is not all bad. It's okay. We're going to be okay. It's not affecting Friday. Because last thing you want is Friday trouble hits in the game and the kids are thinking, oh, we got screwed by lightning. Mm -hmm. We weren't ready. All right, so I, those are my two thoughts to yeah, share. Any, right. any response to that or something to well, add? No, to I totally agree. That's how I basically live my coaching life. Like nothing is ever as bad as it seems and nothing's yeah. ever as good as it seems. Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of the mindset that I go into it with with the kids at any moment in time. Like it's never as bad as we, we make it out to be mm -hmm. and it's never as great as we think it is. Mm -hmm. So it's somewhere in that middle zone that – True. If, mediocrity i don't know i guess it's probably not mediocre but it's somewhere in there right um so that's kind of how that's been my mindset since day one so you know even in the face of the worst thing ever like you would never know that by looking at me yeah. like i am i am the same person whether it's going great or the same person if it's horrible so, yeah so i mean yeah i would agree with that I, I mean and i think a lot of us are teachers and you know you have to have those emergency sub plans if you're ever going to be gone so i guess in a way 
those plans for lightning are kind of those emergency yeah, sub plans. Right. I mean, we'll be there, but we can't do what we would normally do. So yeah. it's got to be a little different. So, I mean, there, there's a lot of things that I feel like you can get done in, in that amount of time. I mean, a lift never hurt anybody. Hey. I mean, <laughs> True. that that will pass the time for a while. Um, you know, a little, I mean, anything like that would will pass the time and suffice. And, you know, those rain days, you know, the kids are kind of goofy as it is. So, like you said, a good time to just embrace that goofiness a little bit and have a little fun. Never, never hurt anybody. And it never sets you back for a Friday. Honestly, it never does. I mean, it, we have three days to prepare for, I guess. But, you know, I mean, three is not going to kill you. You know, I mean, you can get that amount of stuff done in three that you could have got done in four. You would rather that rain practice be earlier in the week. So then you can kind of make up for it as the week goes on. But sometimes you, you can't control it. So. Well, it is out of your control, So, um, but you do have some control earlier in the year to know uh-huh. beforehand, yeah. what am I going to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, have a plan. Well, guys, appreciate you joining us on this Wednesday night. Um, comments on the side, comments below if you didn't watch us as it premiered, um, but we'll be back next Wednesday night. Might be myself and Coach T, might be, who knows? <laughs> we don't know what the lineup will be, but it'll be one of us three or two of us three, yeah, we know that. exactly, exactly. All right. Keep coaching them up. Enjoy your summertime. You can see I got a little, I got some sun going on. I mean, I got, I got burnt. Yeah, you're redder than yeah, usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got burnt on Friday. <laughs> it was rough. All right, but I'm back now. <laughs> we'll see you guys next Wednesday. See you guys.